I'm Tanika and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel focuses on fashion and travel and beauty and all the things. And in today's video, I want to talk about doo -doo 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 -doo, luxury items that are worth it and luxury items that are not worth it. Now, this is just my opinion. Obviously, I am not an expert, but I do like to shop. And these are some of the things that I learned. Also, I think it's helpful to understand what worth it means. Um, something might be worth it to you and it may not be worth it to me. Something might be worth it to me and not be worth it to you. So I think you can take this with a grain of salt. It's going to be a really fun video. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Miss Chanel. Miss Chanel, darling. Um, to me, Chanel is worth it when it is vintage. Pre-2000, definitely pre-2006, I will likely not buy a newer Chanel piece. Now, I do like Chanel coats. I do like some of their ready-to-wear. But right now, Chanel prices and me, we don't get along. There's no world where we can get along. For the quality of the items, I personally can't see it. Their vintage pieces, however, always have my heart. I am a Chanel 90s girl through and through. I want Chanel ready to wear from the 90s. I love Chanel bags from the 90s. I really love what Chanel did in the 90s. And I think the older the piece, the better for me. Like I bought this piece in Paris and um, it probably needs a little work. Um, and I'm not gonna get it worked on, <laughs> but um, not now anyway, but I probably will. But I've worn it, I love it. It's like, I think it's from 91. Um, and I love Chanel, um, especially in the 90s. But today's Chanel at today's prices, prices is not worth it. And I see people unboxing new Chanel and I just keep scrolling. I don't be in the comments telling people. But what you are paying versus the quality is just not there. Remember, that is the whole point of luxury is you are trying to pay a premium for the quality. Obviously, we know it isn't always the case, but that is was the general idea to begin with, okay? But now it has kind of gotten skewed, and I think a lot of brands are running on their name alone, and they're not really doubling down on the quality. So Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. When you think about Chanel, think about vintage Chanel. Think about the things that you want and you love from Chanel from back in the day. Because you will get your cost per wear out of it. Meaning that you will wear it so many times. The quality will be there. The gold is there. Um, it's much more heavier than the pieces are today. Now, um, I think it's not made out of gold at all. Back then, it was gold plated. You had gold hardware. The quality of Chanel back then versus the quality of Chanel now, it's just, there's no comparison. There's literally no comparison. Sticking with bags that I think are worth it, that a lot of people actually don't think are worth it, and we will talk about why, um, the Lady Dior. Uh, the Lady Dior to me is everything. I love it. Um, you can get it pre-loved from places like Fashion File or maybe The Real Real. Um, and they are maybe like two or three hundred dollars cheaper for the Lady Dior's in the size small. Now when you talk about the medium, the price goes down because medium bags and especially the large bags aren't trending as much as the small bags. We are still in the era of the small bag and so that's why the small bags are still um, you know, they're, they're pretty, they're priced pretty much the same. Now, a lot of people say they're not worth it because they depreciate in value. But I am a Dior girl, as we know. I love Dior. I love their bags. I think their bags are amazing. I think they're incredible. Um, I love the customer service. I like how they treat me. They're really nice people. Um, and that's how I like to be treated when I go into a store, not like some of these other stores. I like to be treated like I'm about to lay down, you know, a couple of thousand dollars and they're really wanting to receive my money. And so I appreciate that about Dior. So I love Dior and I think the quality of their bags are incredible and amazing. I also love the detail they put in the bags. I love the special, um, the special edition Lady Dior bags. Y'all know, I don't have to tell y'all, y'all know I love Dior. And for me, the Dior, the Lady Dior bags are 100% worth it. For a lot of people, they are not worth it because they want to have the bag for a year and then they want to sell it. I've never sold my Lady Dior bags. Um, I don't plan on ever selling my Lady Dior bags. 
I plan on passing them down to um, you know my daughter who hopefully will pass it down to her daughters and yeah that's my goal I mean there's one I might sell but I pretty much keep my Lady Dior bags and so I don't really worry about the appreciation value like some people do so it doesn't bother me and so for me the Lady Dior is worth it sticking in the Dior family I got this neutral saddle bag um, and so for some people the saddle bag is not worth it because um, it goes in and out and for some people it depreciates in value um, I've seen the value depreciate slightly or remain the same and when I say depreciate I mean if I were to sell this bag right now today would I get more than what I paid for for a used bag the answer is no probably um, and that's the, that's true of almost every single bag that I own it is a leather good um, it is not a bag that's going to appreciate with the exception of Hermes bags that's just in general and anybody telling you otherwise they do not know what they're talking about um, and so when people say it's an investment it's an investment yes they're investment bags if you plan on reselling them or you know value later on down the line but like when I buy clothes I don't buy them to resell them at a higher price point I'm not hustling in that way you know what I'm saying I'm buying them to enjoy them I don't there's nothing that I have that I think if I sell it it's going to be at a higher cost except my house you get what I'm saying but I love this bag I think it's amazing um, it's incredible to me it's totally worth it to a lot of people it is not worth it. it to a lot of girls it's not worth it me and my um saddle bag we get along just great Hermes bags um they are 100% worth it we all know this the Kelly tends to be um can be resold at a higher price point than the Birkin because the Birkin I believe is trending online which comes and goes obviously with social media or whatever new media comes out and there is like some trend um, that bag tends to be a little bit less in value but the day that I bought this bag the resale value of this bag or I didn't actually buy this bag my husband uh, bought this bag for me but the, the day Lord um, you know this bag is clearly you know it's a used bag from like the 80s I think I did a video about this but um, this bag is 100% uh, worth more than you know he paid for it like maybe two or three thousand dollars more and that was just a few months ago because that's what happens with the Hermes Kelly bags they are in such short supply um, that people want them but also the price point there are not as many people that can afford a Kelly bag as people assume but uh, we love the Kelly bag um, it seems like it's oversaturated it's not it's social media guys that's what happens um, but I love the bag it's perfect and I think it is totally worth the money now this is a little controversial this is a controversial one and I think you'll be surprised I think you're gonna be surprised that I say this and I mean this um, to me the Birkin brand new is worth it uh, on the secondhand market immediately now immediately now immediately now I see Birkins going for like 20k girl who you do not have a pool to build in your vacation house that's why you spend in 20k that's why you're spending 20k there is no world where I would spend twenty thousand dollars on a bag are you serious and it's used and it's been in somebody's house and it's been on somebody's hip and somebody's been walking around with it and somebody's grandmother has been walking around with it that is inappropriate twenty thousand dollars if y'all know somebody that paid twenty thousand dollars for Birkin please drop their um handle in the comments so we can get with them because that is completely inappropriate like we already live in an alternate universe that we're paying this much for a bag but that is like I'm sorry what yeah no I think um, firsthand um, when you get it firsthand um, under 10k yes there are games I got mine in Spain I did a video on that as you all know when I got it um, it's been over a year since I got this bag summer of 2021 I believe um, brand new from the shop um, it's really hard to get one here in New York some people can just walk in and get one I get it I get it I get it 
to me I think it's worth wait list or you know whatever I I just think paying twenty thousand dollars for a bag is crazy um this bag I've seen this bag go for thirty thousand dollars that to me it's like what what is that saying on TikTok is this recorded is this on like no inappropriate it doesn't make any sense it's like no it's not common sense guys Come on, don't do that. I don't care how thirsty you are, don't do it. Don't do it. Cause you will be looking at that bag with so much shade. And also if you pay $25,000 for it and you don't like it in a year, it's still worth $25,000. You can resell it, but it's only worth $25,000. I got this bag for less than $10,000. I think it was definitely less than $9,000. However much I paid for this bag, I could sell this bag for $30,000. Wait a minute, I can sell this bag for $30,000? I'm like, now hold on. She's not that cute. Speaking of Hermes, the Chipri sandal, to me, they are not worth it. They're not worth the hype. I Here's the thing. I am not a particular, like, dad sandal girl. I feel like I said that when I first started YouTube and I started making, like, luxury haul videos. I was saying, like, I am not your quintessential, like... I'm not, I'm really not that into like dad sandals like that. Um, I feel like they're trending right now and they're cute. I like them for the plane. I like walking around in them. Like when I'm, when I'm in the, in the house and I'm going to like out to get like an order or something that's like at my gate. Um, I'll like put these on. Um, I, w I wear these like when I do like city events when I'm like out of the country and stuff like that city events <laughs> when I'm like touring around and that kind of thing so they are comfortable I do like them but the price yeah Hermes jumped out of the windows with these you know I'm a fan she's definitely a fan I'm I'm a fan and I'm gonna keep mine I'm not gonna sell mine but like what they cost on the resale market I don't think they're worth I think they're worth what you pay for them they shouldn't be that high I would appreciate if they were not that high um, I'm not really into like you know finding too many dupes per se even though we're gonna talk about a dupe later on in this video but um, I don't I don't think I would get like a like even I see people on TikTok you like Hermes Oran sandal dupes I'm I'm really not interested in that I think it's such a it's such a like known shoe that like I don't know what it is about the I'm funny about dupes like sometimes I'm okay with the dupes sometimes I'm like mm -mm. I feel like I'm just okay with Bottega dupes and everything else I'm, I'm like no don't dupe it I don't know <laughs> I am gonna rail against these sunglasses until the end of time I am gonna rail against these weathers I know I need to sell them. I know people are going to be in the comments like, sell them to me. <sighs> I'm trying to find the case so that I can sell them. I always get like so weird about selling stuff to people. Um, I would rather like do it on a site or something. And I've just been lazy about the whole situation, but these Loewe shades are not worth it. I do not care what people are saying. I don't care how popular they are. I do not care. I do listen to me. Come close, my love. Do not buy these. I'm gonna tell you why you should not buy these Lueve shades. First of all, they're oversaturated. They're oversaturated. They're oversaturated. And when they become that oversaturated, they become a trend. And what happens is, is that in a few years you won't be able to wear them, and you spent like three or four hundred dollars on some sunglasses. That's one. Number two, you shouldn't wear them because they're ugly. No, I'm just joking. I mean, they are kind of on me. I don't really like them, but, and you know, I kind of look like a clown. But that's another story. But I think that um, they have so many dupes on Amazon. So many dupes on Amazon. They have so many dupes on Amazon. Now, here's the thing. I am a Loewe girl. I love Loewe. I went to their Reese. I'm going to another event here in New York for Loewe. Um, you know, I really like them. I love their perfumes. I like what they're doing. I love that they really have this artistic kind of quirky vibe going on. I was so butthurt that these did not look good on me. I know people are like, no, you look so nice. It's like... 
Do I though? Do I really? Luxury belts, are they worth it or are they not worth it? That's what we will discuss, let's see. Hermes anything is almost always worth it and I will tell you why. It is because you can resell them. You can resell them at the same price point. Um, I love this colorway. I haven't seen this colorway very often. I've probably worn this belt maybe three times. I don't think I've ever worn it on the internet, but I wear it in real life, especially when I travel for the summertime. Um, I love this color in the Hermes gold. Um, yeah, these are all Kelly belts. I think the Kelly belts from Hermes are totally, totally worth it. I think they're so stunning. You'll, you will be surprised how much use you get out of these belts. Like the gold one, I use at least once a week. At least once a week. Um, the white one I primarily use in the spring. I just start, I want to say, oh, I use the white one every week. But the truth is I just really started in the past couple of weeks. Um, and this color, it's such a unique color that I don't wear with too many things, but I wanted to get it because of its color. And all the hardware is gold. I'm a gold girl. I love gold. I also have um, the tan one, which is Hermes gold. I have it in the rose gold color. So I really think these are worth it. These, the Hermes designer belts are worth it. The Hermes Kelly designer belts are worth it. The Celine belt. The Celine Belt Arc de Triumph belt. Um, I have this in this tan colorway. I also have it in the black um, color. And I actually wear the black one probably once a week. Um, I haven't worn this as much because I wear the Hermes color. I think for me, I don't get as much wear out of it, but I think it is totally worth it. Now, some of the people who are the vein of my existence, the um, old money, quiet luxury, I cannot, oh my God, those people. Oh my God, I feel like the capsule wardrobe people are getting really close. They're getting really close to that. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Y'all comment in, below if you want to see a video from me talking bad, probably, likely, immediately about the old money quiet luxury all the people who romanticize wealth and how like former plantation owners dress y'all let me know y'all let me know um in the comments and i will I'm, I'm happy to do a video i might turn the comments off i might turn the comments off because i don't want the smoke um but i will i will i'll talk about it um, cause I talk about it on TikTok all the time, but this belt to me is nice. It's trending right now. Um, I feel like the like capsule wardrobe people have started to make it trend because it's such like a minimal, um, look and not as many people kind of knew what the Arc de Triumph Celine symbol was. But I feel like if you're a fashion girl, you know, Celine and you know, the Celine symbol. Um, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's totally worth it. I think it's cute. And it is like for a fraction of the price of the Hermes belt. You know, it's a fraction of the price. And I would actually say if you're getting a belt um, in this like tannish color, I think the Hermes, uh, or the Hermes, I think the Celine belt is actually a bit more worth it because the price point makes more sense. Um, and it's super cute. Now this is so sad for me to say. And, and the reason why it's sad is because it is um, colorful and it is um, Dior. It's like my only two requirements in life. It's my only two requirements. And, I, and I'm like, I, here's the thing. I can't even bring myself, I can't even bring myself to say it. I'm on the fence on whether it's worth it or not personally. Um, but I think for a person to get a belt like this, I feel like you need to really have like this colorway in your, um, closet or you need to wear it more than like four times a year. Um, cause I wear this like four times a year. Now when I wear it, it's a banger. When I wear it, it's a hit. When I wear it, the people love it. When I wear it, I feel the vibe. Um, I just don't wear it as much. So I don't, I don't really know, you know, I don't really know about, um, yeah, I don't really know if I would say, yeah, you should, if you're on the market for a belt, you know? 
So for me, I do think that designer belts are worth it. Um, it just depends on how you style it and to get like a cost per wear. You should not have excessive uh, amounts of belts like I have. I have Loewe belts, I have Zimmerman belts, I have more Hermes belts. Um, I just love belts. I love accessories, I love clothes, I love fashion. We know this about me. Um, but there are some that are not necessarily worth it and so you just wanna be mindful that if you plan on spurging on something, if this is your birthday gift, if you saved up for this, um, that you are getting your money's worth. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the controversial YSL hobo bag. I think it's called the hobo bag. I don't know. I don't know if it actually is controversial or I'm just saying it's controversial. I don't know. But um, I'm not a fan of the bag. I like the quilted idea of it. I hate that YSL plasters YSL on top of bags like that. I hate that. I don't know why that gets up under my skin. And you know, I have some YSL earrings. They're like YSL drop earrings. They're kind of small. Um, but like, I don't feel bad vibes when I wear those earrings, even though they're like, and it's not like it's a logo. I'm not like mad that it's a logo, you know? Cause like, it's YSL. We get it. Um, but it's just like, it's like how big it is. Why is it so big? Why is it so big and gaudy? You know, when I went to South of France, I feel like maybe it was last summer, June, I don't know, I think so. But I tried it on, I was gonna get it. There was like three more in the store and I was just like, mm -mm. I was just like, am I actually gonna wear this? No, first of all, it came in zero other colors. Um, it was black, it was quilted, and it had the big YSL on it. I just, I was like, maybe I missed it. I don't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And that's okay. I don't have to get it. You know? And I see it on other people, and I think it looks nice, and I think it looks cute. But like for me, it's not worth it. I think the price point is not worth it. Um, I heard it's not the most functional bag. Um, I heard it's not the most sturdy bag. When I felt it, when I put it on, I didn't feel like it was the most sturdy bag. Um, I do think it will be dated in a few years because that's how trendy it was. I haven't seen it on too many people um, in real life. You know, I've seen it, I feel like I saw it a lot like last year and then it kind of fizzled out. And when you're paying that amount of money for a bag, you just, you don't need something that's that's like fast fashion that it's only gonna last for a season and then it fizzles out you know but i think if you like the bag more power to you if it's cute to you you should do it because what's worth it to you may not necessarily be worth it for me as for me i will not be getting that bag no a hobo bag i do like um i love this bag now a lot of people don't like this bag i love this bag it's an open bag again this bag. um but to me i just love this bone color and if you see me in real life you usually probably see me with this bag i walk around with this bag all the time when i go to the beauty supply store when i go to the grocery store um when i go to get my hair done i have this bag so i wear this bag pretty often um, it's just, it's like a shopper, to it's a tote. Um, I think it has that whole like YSL silhouette to it. And so I think it's cute, but, um, or it's like that YSL hobo, I think. No, the YSL hobo goes in. Well, yeah, it kind of has the same similar shape. But I wanted to show you like another remake of the hobo trend that I think is cute. Now, um, this might not be your speed cause it's also really big. I'll stand up so you can see, see. It's super big, so it like hits me by the hip. But yeah, um, it's kind of, you know, an expensive grocery bag, but I adore it. I think it's completely and amazingly worth it. Um, the price point, the quality, the detail. I love this bag, I love this bag. Last, but certainly not least, the much seen Loewe sweaters. So um, I started collecting these sweaters a few years ago when they came out. Um, I wanted the purple one. I feel like I had it, but maybe I, I don't know. 
but I feel like I did a haul moons ago when this first came out. Um, now they have one in a more neutral color, which I think is more like for people who wear neutral colors or people who like safe colors. Um, so on first glance, this does not seem worth it. I, let me tell you, it doesn't seem worth it. It's a thin sweater. Um, you know, it has the big Loewe monogram in the front. Um, you may have seen it online um, from like a few content creators. And so sometimes when content creators wear things, including myself, there's a perception that everyone has it. But it's not necessarily true. And if you care about that, you know, you care about that. If not, um, cause I care about it selectively from time to time. I like to think I don't, but hey, I'm human. Um, this sweater to me is totally worth it. I love the balloon. I love that it's light. I've worn this in the winter time with like a white turtleneck and I put this over it, um, just to add a little oomph. I've worn this with a skirt. I've worn this with color, uh, pants. I've worn this recently with like some cargo-esque pants that I think is really cute and a bandeau top underneath. There's a million ways to wear this and to style this and every time my husband sees this, he's just like, you are really gonna get the $900. I'm gonna get the $900. I'm gonna get it, okay? I'm going to get it. Ooh, that might be cute. Over the shoulder, an over the shoulder moment with the Loewe sweater. I think it's cute. I, listen, I am team this. I think it's completely worth it. I love what Loewe is doing. I love what Loewe is doing. I think they're brilliant. I think what they're doing makes total sense. Um, and I like that they're just like allowing us to add statement pieces to our wardrobe that can become classic. You know what I'm saying? That's what I love about this. I feel like I said that was the last one. I think I did. But it's not, it's not, I have another one. <clears throat> now, this one is controversial. And um, I'm happy to do a video on it, if you would like um, a separate video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a separate video on this. But the Bottega earrings. The Bottega earrings got the people in a chokehold. It's me, I'm the people. I, listen. I thought I could dupe my way to it. I was like, oh, dupe, dupe. I got so many dupes. And then I was just like, I saw them in real life. If you watch my Milan video, I saw them. Um, I saw them on Coco Bassey first, um, who I didn't, I don't think I, I don't think I showed when I saw them. Cause I, it's, uh, listen, I do not know how to vlog. Guilty, guilty, don't know how to vlog. Um, so when I first saw them, the cameras weren't rolling, um, but they are so nice in person. I was like, oh, need those. And I was wearing the dupes. Looked nothing, nothing like them. Like, I'm a shape texture type of girl. So it's like, but I don't like to pay for costume jewelry. That's my thing. I'm like, I don't, I'm not, and that's any brand. Like, I'm not playing for the Hermes, like, bracelets. I, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, immediately, no. Uh, but I, I was like, I splurged. I splurged. And you're probably thinking, are those it? <gasps> These are not it. These are the dupes. These are the dupes, girl. These are the dupes. Let me show you the it. So, I actually have a few pair. Um, I have a blue pair. I think they're downstairs. I'm upstairs. Sorry, y'all. Listen, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Um, at least they're not, you know, down downstairs. Okay. Um, that would be like, ooh. Um, okay, way too far for me to be going. Um, okay, so these are it. Hope you can see them. This is the shape. Um, these are the Bottega. These are the Bottegas. Um, I love them. I wear them all the time. Um, the only thing, let me scoot up. This is my little scoop. The only thing is, when they drop, they dent. I have like a dent. Let me see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that little dent, but it's like a little dent. Um, and then I have the green ones and these are the dupes. See? So these dupes, 
I actually just got from Amazon. I'm gonna link it below. Don't be harassing me. I'm gonna link it below, okay? I know you want the link. These are the Bottega ones and these are the dupes and they actually, girl, they're actually a lot more similar than the big ones. But y'all let me know in the comments if you want me to do like a review. Maybe I'll do a review on TikTok or something like that. Yeah, of the Bottega dupes so you get like an understanding of all the different kinds of dupes. But um, these dupes actually are duping. The other dupes don't dupe. Anyway, yeah. So I think the Bottegas are not worth it girl they are not worth the price point i like them i have the green enamel ones as well um i bought these and the blue ones in europe and they cost the same amount both as these in the u.s not worth it not worth it i mean i'm gonna buy them because i'm crazy but overall they're not worth it no they're not worth the price point absolutely not no 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 all right if you stuck around this long thank you thank you thank you thank you so very much i was actually really excited to make this video um if you want to know my biggest luxury regrets and the items that i can't live without i think you all know what i can't live without which is literally everything i do have a number of regrets i have a number of regrets if you want to see that let me know i'm happy to do that video um please like please comment please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me and i will see you in the next video bye